they picked up all young women, took them to the love camps to be impregnated, thinking they will produce some superhumanity. They've invested hundred million dollars. Right now, these things are being driven by commercial forces, meddling with the fundamental life substance like this. We will pay a price. It's a messing around with the fundamentals of life. If you knew all of it, Maybe it would be okay to do a few things. But right now, these things are being driven by commercial forces. They've invested hundred million dollars. They're in a hurry to bring it to the market as quickly as possible because things are piling up on them. That's not the way to do these kind of things. These kind of things, if at all, if we have to do, we must do it in such a way that there is no pressure to bring it into usage without really being hundred percent sure of what we are doing to this. Now, what we are assuming in this whole thing is, we are thinking if you have good genetics, you will come out as a fantastic human being. That means you are a bloody racist. You better understand that. Adolf Hitler ran for those days what was called as Lao camps because he believed his German soldiers who are uh, supposed to be Aryan or whatever, they are the best bred people. So they found across Europe, they picked up all young women, took them to the Lao camps to be impregnated by the German soldiers in hundreds thinking they will produce some superhumanity. No, you may have <laughs> whatever, your father may be built like a bull and you think it's great genetics. This does not mean you will produce a great human being. No, life doesn't work like that. You're discounting everything else. When your mother carried you in her womb with utmost love and what that did to the child, you've forgotten. You think it's only stupid genetics which is doing everything? Just look at in the same family, born to the same parents, or children the same way, same genetics, nonsense. One is there, one is here. Isn't it so? So we're discounting the impact of consciousness, the impact of human emotions, human thought, the atmospheres we create. So none of that is relevant, just manipulate genetics. There was a big controversy in India about genetically engineered plants. GM cotton came, then GM brinjal came. I was trying to understand what this is, so uh, one of the major companies which is doing this, I met this guy and asked him, what is it? What is it that you're manipulating? All they're doing is with the vegetables. Mainly the problem is when you grow vegetable crops, which are short duration, three to six months, whatever the lifespan of that plant, to get that maximum yield, one of the biggest impediments is the bugs and the other things which they have to eat something. They come for the plant. They usually don't come for the vegetable, they like the leaf. This is a good partnership between us and them, they eat the leaf, we eat the vegetable. <laughs> but if they eat too much leaf, then there will be not much vegetable, that's our problem. So we've been trying to do chemical warfare with them, we spray the entire place. The most irresponsible thing that we have done on the planet is that our aircrafts, aircrafts have been spraying insecticide killing just everything. So to avoid that, because we saw that's bad, now we thought, we, whatever the bug is coming for in that particular leaf, that we take it away with genetic engineering or we make it taste bitter for the bug. See, the bug has taste. 
The bug wants to eat this leaf because it's succulent, it is nutritious for that. So you make it bitter, the leaf becomes bitter, not the vegetable, only the leaf. Because of that, the bug will not be able to eat the leaf. But then I thought, is, is it a permanent fix? He said, no Sadhguru, every season we have to re-engineer it. Because within a matter of three months, the bug comes up with a new solution for itself. <laughs> it will learn how to make bitterness into taste good. Now you have to again re-engineer it. So slowly what's happening is, in eight, ten years of genetic engineering of a specific plant, let's say, you will produce a super bug that you may not be able to handle one day. The bug will become so versatile that you may have nothing to kill that bug or to avoid that bug. So, the bug is evolving faster than your intelligence because it's his survival. He's evolving quickly and changing himself. So, I, I said, isn't the bug becoming stronger and stronger? He said, yes, it's amazing how strong they're becoming. So what will happen in fifty years time? You'll have bugs that you don't know how to handle. If the bug can change his taste buds, the bug can change this and that. Suppose he decides because you're doing all this, one day he decided he will become this big. <laughs> that little bug became like this. <laughs> then what will you do? Is it a possibility? I asked him. He's a very deeply immersed in these things. He said, we cannot say it's not possible. It is possible. One day bug may decide this size and this way of doing things is not good. If he's this much, if he became this much, then <laughs> it'll be a different game altogether. So, we're meddling with things with bits and pieces of information. We don't know the entire scape of how genetic material is happening, not just in human being, in everything around us. Suppose you manipulated genetics, this is one possibility that some of the scientists are talking about. A manipulated genetics means, let's say it's like this, your aunt had cancer, her mother had cancer, your grandmother had cancer, so we will manipulate your genetics in such a way that you will not get cancer. That's the idea of this uh, manipulation. With this manipulation, it is very much possible and I think all… already it's manifesting in so many different ways. One thing is allergic levels can go up big time. There's so many people in United States who are allergic to sunlight, allergic to lactose, milk, allergic to our groundnut. <laughs> Allergy means I was… I, I did not know this, they were explaining in the airplane. They… I… they give me some lousy macadamia nut in the airplane. And I say, I'm not going to eat this nut. Do you have some groundnuts or peanuts or whatever you call it? No, no, it's not on this plane because there's one person who's allergic. If he's allergic, what's my problem? <laughs> so not like that, if you open the packet, he will die, <laughs> really. If you just open the packet here, the man is sitting somewhere else, just the smell of it, he will suffocate and die. Can you beat this? This is not necessarily because of genetic uh, modification in the person, but substances, chemicals and others going into the system is doing these things. So one of the possibilities is you can become allergic to the air that you breathe. So that's good because if I'm manufacturing oxygen tanks, I think this is very good market development because I will sell millions of this thing. Who told you you must drink three liters, four liters of water per day? Those who are selling water. Yes. No, no, doctors are telling, 
Those who are drinking, now if you drink three, four liters of water, water per day, even if it's chill in the air, that is why we have more toilets than three hundred <laughs> three, three hundred million people we have, but we have six hundred million toilets because anywhere you will want to go. <laughs> Nobody ever was drinking this kind of water. Even in a tropical country where it's much warmer, we don't drink water like this. It's only in America, in cold, in the New York is cold, you'll see people walking with water bottle as if suddenly it's going to become a desert and there'll be no water and something's going to happen. <laughs> this is because these are commercial interests. Somebody says, if you have coffee, you'll never have a heart attack. Now somebody says, if you have coffee, you'll get cancer. Those are different things. But meddling with the fundamental life substance like this, we will pay a price in what form, we do not know. It's good, science explores all these things, it's wonderful, we must explore. But this premature usage of these things will inevitably happen when there are commercial interests. There is no way to prevent that right now.